Hello guys, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Riffster Daily Trade Recaps and Teachings. Uh, going to do a late video today. I'm uh, just going to be a little fast today. I'm not going to spend too much time in, in the introduction. So today was um, was a bearish day for most part on the, on the marketplace by QQQ and uh, semiconductors and other names. And it was a bullish day on the uh, Chinese names, right? So we'll talk about it, how we identified the bearishness on SPY and QQQ. We could make some money profits uh, on the short side and um, how was uh, the, the um, Chinese names long all day and how you could hold your trades long all day uh, for a profitable long side win on the Chinese names. So we're going to discuss all that. Just a quick introduction. All these trade recaps and teachings are uh, from anything I share in my community, anything I share on Twitter or in any YouTube previous videos. Um, my Ripster Cloud Trading Cloud system um, is used by thousands of traders across the world to trade consistently. This is the system we use. We um, we use repeatable setups, repeatable system in, in the community. Um, most of my uh, my recaps that I'm going to show you is from the community as I'm on the voice uh, guiding the community through the uh, various trades. Um, hundreds of traders are on our trading floor uh, trading every day. Every morning we have a game plan. What to long, what to short. We have initial buys. Everything that's in the play. This is our game plan list for today. You can see um, we have uh, news plays, earning plays, upgrades, downgrades. There are a lot of plays on the watch list. Uh, sometimes not all of them will trigger or we don't have to trade everything we just look at it what out of them gives us a decent decent trade uh, tesla today and apple today stood out uh, from our game game plan that we uh, we traded in the community in addition to that we all, we have our day to day three strategy most of the day to day three today was uh, china setups we will talk about them and of course we have the levels on spy qqq iwm and all the uh, the main uh, main stocks that move with the market every day you can use the Ripster Cloud system and these levels to trade yourself. This is what we provide to the community every morning. Trying to find the opportunities to trade, um, you know, having a better profit. When we lose, we try to lose small, and when we um, try to win, we try to win big, uh, like in the uh, like in the puts and the short side today. So we'll discuss all that. Um, that's just the introduction. I will show you my timestamp guidance. I'll show you any shoutouts, um, any callouts from the traders in the community, and uh, so that you can learn from these setups and maybe you can execute them yourself. And uh, if any questions, don't make sure to comment to ask me on Twitter and uh, happy to help and let's start first of all we're gonna start with spy QQQ because we track the market every day uh, we always watch uh, the spy queues and the markets so that we can analyze the trend on the market find any opportunities there so spy had a big red day today bounced in the middle of the day QQQ had uh, red day and bounced end of the day from the mtf clouds daily 2021 emas so um let's see how we nailed it so what we basically did today was guys we were short on the market at the open so as you know um you know let's look at our levels provided in the pre-market so we had levels of 573 572 56 qqq was 487 75s so both those levels gave up right at the open so this is the opening trade. This is the the first trade is 9:30 a.m. to 10 a.m. trades. Those you have to be in right in, and and the rest of the trades come at 10 a.m. or after the 10 a.m. So as soon as the market opened, I saw it heaviness, and I I tell I told everybody spy QQQ bearish to start the day, spy more bearish. And then when SPY broke MTF clouds, it confirmed the bearishness right away. So you have to buy your puts right in the first five minutes with the risk high of the candle or high of the uh, pre-market candle, right? You can't, you cannot wait if you're buying the puts or if you are shorting the SPY or if you're shorting QQQs or if you're going long on the leverage ETFs like we have here when you're trying to short, you can uh, SOXS, TZA, all those names you can long. So anyways, as soon as market opened, you can see the level breaking down, MTF cloud breaking down, our clouds are bearish, we are under 3450 clouds. So everything is indicating it's bearish, it's all about taking a position to the short side. So that's when I, you know, um, uh, so the, how we work in the community is I try to guide, uh, if I'm taking some trade, I'll always mention that, and most of my co comments are on the voice, I did tell everybody that you can scalp the puts, um, into the 10 a.m. So when I say scalp, that means you have to be in and out fast and watch it closely, right? Until, unless we get an all day trend, and then you can hold it for the all day fade. So, uh, 
So anyways, um, so once we break the 3450, 3450 MTF cloud, it's a confirmed short. Either you can short first five minutes or when we hit 10 a.m. trend time, at 10 a.m. trend time, it further bear flag breakdown. You can short right here. It gets a little tough as we go. And um, I gave the targets on QQQ was 483 was my initial target. And then the next target on um, QQQs was MTF, right? So from MTF to MTF. So your puts paid a big, big, right? 572 to 566. There's a lot of money to be made. And right from here, from 486 to uh, 478, there was a lot of money to be made. But you just have to manage, right? You can't go crazy on a sizing and panic on this, you know, uh, bounce, because ultimately, this is where you get out. Or you make a, you know, or you profit into your targets. So we can see that um, QQQ had a target, MTF, so you know where to take your profits. So when SPY QQQ tanks, we also watch VIX. VIX helps. VIX is another repeatable strategy. It helps us to um, take, um, you know, take the take the uh, um, the the puts based if as long as VIX is strong. So anyways, these were you can see the timestamp guidance, and based upon this, we also shorted many other names in the market like Nvidia, Tesla, AMD. We will recap them separately, but this bearish market helps us. And of course, we had Iran news, which further gave us more confidence, right? So system news everything comes together to give a profitable you know day on the short side on the puts in the market really really good um, you know uh, trading in the community by everyone today so um after that once that was happening you know market try to bounce try to curl this was kind of a fake curl but then it double bottomed here you can see that and then this was the curls that came later in the day um, you can if i can show you the price alerts on the curls and i was on the voice and then we talked about that we can scalp those curls um i tweeted about it today how to find the reversals you can go see my tweet on twitter i talk about that often how to find the reversals so there was definitely a long hair with your stops here long hair stops here and you can see all these curls signals going in in the community amd Nvidia and uh, SPY QQQ, right? So that was a curl long setup, repeatable curl long setup towards our target was this MTF. We never really hit it, but we went close. And same for QQQs, uh, 3450 is always our first target. Once it breaks here, you get out. Once you break here, it's get out. And these were the midday curls that we trade as a repeatable strategy. And you see a lot of traders were scalping long on the SPY QQQ AMD, um, all those names as a curl setups, right? So these are the opportunities you just you can't just lose you have to find the best entry most probable entry you can't just trading here would sometimes chop you um, usually the curls much better curls are um, you know when you have high conviction when VIX is dropping down uh, you see how VIX reclaimed here so this curl failed but then VIX failed 20 for the second time and that also it was a going into the power hour so that helped with this curl setups end of the day so just something to learn um, this is our system this is how we trade we do it every day day in day out and we don't have to trade spy qqq every day but um, when uh, when there's a trend like today news like today we definitely capitalize on that let's go to the next one so let's look at uh, Apple today. So what was happening with Apple? So Apple had a news. Apple was on our game plan this morning. So let's look at what was the game plan. So Apple had Barclays was cutting iPhone 16. Um, they were basically a downgrade that iPhone 16 has a weak demand. So you see Apple was gapping down. But where was Apple gapping down? Apple was gapping down right into our MTF clouds. So these are MTF clouds. These are Ripster 10-minute clouds. These are Ripsters multi time frame clouds. So you know that we are already bearish and we are bear flagging. So I was very interested to short it right at the open on the voice. I talked about it. And there we have our levels as well. You can see those levels right here. 229 was a big level. So once 229 was gone or this 229.40, it was a confirmed short. So you have to be in, in this short right at open first five minutes. Right, you can trade the 10 minute as uh, 10 a.m. flush as well, but a lot of the meat is gone by then. So you need to know, be ready in the pre-market. And not only that, we had option flow that was in one of our scanners that came through. You see, right at the open, there were 225 puts that came in on the on the uh, our option flow. Right, so that was that was really nice nice confidence on that Apple short. Um, because um, you have the flow, you have the bearish news, and uh, you know we got that.
Finally, we hit the MTF clouds, which um, daily MTFs, that's one hour MTF, which is basically our target, uh, first target to cover that, right? So Apple was a decent short with the flow. So you see that Apple, that 225. So not only that, with uh, with the market being bearish, Apple became uh, more better short as well. And of course, Apple takes the market down and market takes Apple down. So all those things can, um, you know, justify that uh, the short on the Apple, which was pretty, pretty big fader from 229 to 225. So that was a nice trade for a lot of traders in the community on Apple and a lot of good guidance by a lot of good traders in there um, on, on Apple. So you can see that, uh, yeah, a lot of flow on Apple puts. Apple puts were there, Addy was on it, STS was there, Antonio was uh, short as well. And uh, yeah, so that was our Apple short in the morning. Then Apple curled at, as well in the, you see, the first time Apple curled really was at this right here. And then it was a nice curl. I was trading the Apple curl scalps um, versus defined risk of 224. Um, oh, actually 224.50, 224.50, nothing more. I just got a dollar, um, you know, a dollar profit on that. Apple uh, curls that came uh, later in the day. So the another one that we did, uh, there was a short, and of course it was all with the, it was all with the, uh, with the market, right? So that was Microsoft. So Microsoft as well, I mentioned on the voice that we can short it. And um, you look at the levels again on Microsoft, uh, 428.89 and 428.05. So you see that clearly one, to one, uh, one hour MTF cloud is breaking down, daily MTF 20 is breaking down, daily MTF 50 is breaking down. And Microsoft was one of the, actually the biggest, the best fade today in the community, which faded all the way from um, those levels I just showed you all the way to 418.20, right? So you can see that, um, I mentioned it in the voice and um, it was just fade, right? When the market is so heavy, you can basically short anything that's market dependent, Apple, Microsoft, semiconductors. And you can make either you can short the shares, you can do the puts or uh, whatever you feel like that you would like to trade. And uh, you can do that. And you can see the curls here, right? There was this Microsoft call and then uh, there was this 3450 bounce and that's always our target of 3450 and you can see the fades on the Microsoft was good as well. So next one we're going to talk about is Tesla. Uh, Tesla was uh, one of the good ones even one of my trades today as well was a heavy short on Tesla today and um, it was pretty straightforward like the other ones. So if you see I was guiding all day on Tesla and um, you know I first thing I told everyone no long confirmation and then since market was heavy uh, we could short scalp it and be shorted under the MTF and um, and I continuously talked about the levels that we were looking at. 250 was the level that I was looking at and I was telling everyone that 250 is a, we probably see the 250 and actually so yeah so that was Tesla I mean um, nothing it was a very easy setup very easy trade uh, it's most of it was on my voice guidance but you can see um, all day I was guiding with the Tesla and uh, people were killing it and then we had this 250 bounce because we have a big huge buyer at 250 we cleared that buyer and then we had this hammer candle so that was a signal to get out right so that's what I told everybody that um, close all shorts there's a hammer on 250 after I said that it's it, it pushed three bucks you could scalp that but it was never bullish pulled back double bottom kind of double bottom and then made higher low and pushed again you know you stop out this candle you have to stop out but you can get back in end of the day when there is a curl right so end when of the day curl if you're holding if you're holding from 250s and you just want to hold it then you can do that as well but uh, then you will lose a lot of profit if it comes back but I know tomorrow was a test. Tomorrow is the Tesla deliveries, so it kind of uh, pumped into that and pushed higher, higher, higher into the MTF clouds. So 
So let's look at the next one. So now we're going to look at uh, NVIDIA. So let's see what we're looking here on uh, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA was, again, these are all the shorts with the market, right? Because market was heavy. And then since market was heavy, we have, uh, we can short anything basically, right? Everything, everything and anything is a short with the market. So these are the opportunities you need to take. And here you, you can see my timestamp guidance on NVIDIA shorts as well. And um, so I was giving those MTF targets, right? MTF1, MTF2s. So those were our short targets, right? You can see that I, I mentioned the community, although I most of my community is already short because I provide those levels in the pre-market. And if you trade NVIDIA, you know it's under MTF clouds, breaking everything rejecting the pre-market highs it's it's a no-brainer short right with the market you can short anything and everything it's gonna work right AM, amd was another one which was a solid solid uh, short on um, on the market so we are not buying it one thing you need to note is we are not buying anything in this flush right we are not investors today we are this is not a level to invest you know uh, we are not looking for a day uh, swing trade we are day trading it so we have I, to have to understand that. So when we are day trading, we don't really care. It's a long or short, it's calls or puts. We care to make a profitable trade. And that's what we are trying to do here. You know, so um, we care about a profitable trade and that's exactly we, what we are trying to do. And um, that's what we saw here with the MTF breakdown on both AMD and NVIDIA. So that's a beautiful, beautiful trade. All right, so let's now talk about these China names. So China names were all bullish today, although we were shorting the market, and you could see that all China names were bullish, right? So let's look at that PDD, you know, why was it bullish? Because PDD was never broke one hour trend. Baba, why was it bullish? Never broke one hour trend, right? So, um, Take ETF over the one hour MTF trend. So never really broke the trend, right? So if it, it basically what tells me that one hour is still bullish. So there's no reason to short it, right? To, I just screenshot it, my guidance here. It's easy China focus. So I can show you my day to day three uh, sheet as well. Long China long, still long, 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 long. PDD was new one. You just, you have the system. You just have to take it on the long. This is why China was on top of my day two, day three list. You can see here. And that's the, that's this, that was the reason, right? Now it's all about the execution and getting an entry. We know the bias is bullish and how we trade it is, um, is, is half of the game. You know, you have to trade that. So um, I was personally busy with a lot of shorts. I didn't really capitalize on China push today, but a lot of traders in community really did good. I think Kevin really did um, good on on Baba and uh, Baba Lotus were just very, very crazy today. I think M Trade guided the community through that Chinese name trade as well. Um, just going to quickly look at few of the news plays. We didn't really trade uh, much of the news plays, but there are definitely some some trades. But but uh, but the Budweiser company was uh, was short. Uh, I saw it five twelve breakdown. I told everybody watch the pops to short the gap fill. Didn't fully fill the gap, but still it was a nice fade from sixty seven to the sixty six fifty three. Nothing crazy. There was another one, a smaller name called IGMS. Um, which was um, on our sheet right here on the game plan, IGMS. Bearish buys to short the pop, cautious of 512 calls. So when it pushes like this over the clouds, you don't short it. You want to see the rejections. So then you long it, right? So then it was a long 1260 um, to 1454 into the MTFs and the held 512 clouds, you stay long. And the next one hour MTF was uh, another um, a trade that you could, uh, you know, uh, you could target, right? So you could see the 512 curls and from the pre-market guidance as well. So another one we're gonna look here is Micron. You know, uh, so Micron was the same thing, right? It's filling the gap, filling the gap, filling the gap. Um, we talked about it yesterday as well with market heavy. Micro was another day three short. Um, and a target I gave was 100 bucks um, 
today on the Micron short and it was as easy as other trades, right? So you can clearly see how we were short on the market names and why we were long on the China names, guys. So that's about it. Short video today. A lot to learn. Today's video was all about the one hour trend MTF clouds and market shorts. Uh, hopefully you liked it. Take care. Bye-bye.